Okay, now this time we are going to find the logarithm of the complex number. But first, we need to review our the concept of the logarithm. So if you can still recall uh, the logarithm of a number n to the base of b, which is equals to x, can also be written as b to the power of x equals to n. That's how you do logarithm. So let's have an example here. Assuming I have here log, I can have that as base 10, log to the base of 10 of 1000 is equal to x. Then we are going to solve for the value of x. Now, we can rewrite that as 10 raised to x equals to 1000. And we know that 1000 is just 10 to the power of 3. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 3. That is the basic concept of logarithm. Now, here are some important properties that we will be using on this subject. The proper, some properties of logarithm. Okay, the logarithm to the base of E is also known as ln, or what we call your natural logarithm. Take note, ln, natural logarithm. That's the log to the base of E. And ln, that's log of E, no, to the base of E, no, this is ln of E is equal to 1. Take note, ln, the natural logarithm of E is equal to 1. Okay, what about the logarithm of the product? So I have here the logarithm of Z multiplied by W to the base of B is equal to the logarithm of Z to the base of E to the base of B plus the logarithm of W to the base of B. So for the, for the product of logarithm, it will become the sum of logarithm. So we also have our fourth properties, the log to the base of B of Z over W is equal to the log of Z. Take note, this is division. So for division, it becomes a subtraction. That is equal to log of z to the base of b minus log of w to the base of b. What about for the power? So I assume me, z here is raised to a certain power. Let's let's say n. So what will be the logarithm here? Take note: if that is a power, the power becomes the product of the logarithm of z to the base of B. For the next logarithm, the so next property I have here, the logarithm to the nth root of Z to the, to the base of B. This is the same as the power. So it can be written as logarithm of Z to the power of one over N to the base of B. No that is equal to one over n multiplied by the logarithm of z to the base of b. I'm sorry, you can see. Okay, let's adjust the paper for our next, for our next um, property. Uh, I think this will be the last property that I will be discussing with you. I have here the logarithm of z to the base of b can also be written as the logarithm. Take note, I, we, I changed the base. No? Instead of B, I just used log of Z to the base of 10 to the base of 10. Uh, that is equivalent to log of Z to the base of 10 all over log of E to the base of 10. 
or you can also write that as the logarithm to the base of z to the base of e divided by the logarithm to the base of e or you can write that as ln z all over ln of b now we call this rule as the change base rule of logarithm take note of that because you will be using that for a while so let's have one example here i have here okay by the way before we go to our example let's discuss the logarithm of the complex number c Recall that the logarithm of your complex number z to the base of b can also be written as the logarithm of to the base of b of x plus jy. Okay, note that is in rectangular form. And it's really difficult to find the logarithm when it is in rectangular form. So we need to convert that to polar form. For logarithm, we use the exponential form. Again, for logarithm, we use the exponential form. For finding the roots, we use the polar form. Okay, now, we will change the rectangular into its equivalent exponential form, that is R e raised to j of theta. That is the logarithm of your complex number in exponential form. All right. Uh, here is an example. We are going to evaluate the logarithm so this is the logarithm of 3 plus j4. So what will be the answer here? So your solution is first to convert. You're going to convert 3 plus j4 to its equivalent exponential form. All right. So for exponential form, we need to find the value of r and the value of theta. But in that case, that will be in radian form. So take out your calculator. Take note, we need to convert that in radian form. So we, we need to set our mode. Let's make it radian mode. Okay, that's in radian mode. All right, so again, that is polar because we are going to convert that to the value of r and theta. That is polar 3 plus 4. Oh, that will be 5. That's, the, uh, that's, your, that's your magnitude, r5, and the angle is 0 0.93, but in radian form. Now, you have... The values of r and theta so we can now write you know, that as ln of 5 multiplied by e raised to j 0 0.93 take note this is the product rule so using the product rule we are going to okay for the product rule it becomes the sum of the logarithm so ln of 5, uh, take note, we also have the exponential form. So the exponent will be multiplied by, will be, will be multiplied to ln of e. And ln of e, as we know, that is equivalent to 1. I'm sorry. Uh, we will adjust the paper. All right. Now, uh, get your calculator and solve for the value of your ln of 5.
take note, ln of the t is equal to 1. So we will write this as ln of 5 plus j.93. So I can consider that as your final answer. But if you want, you can simplify ln of 5 to be 1.61 plus j 0 0.93. So that will be your answer for this problem number one. Okay, now just uh, write down your questions. No? Inbox me for all your questions or in our chat group. Okay, now we will solve another example here. This time we will be using log to the base of 10. So this is log to the base of 10 of 4 minus J3. Again, the solution would be to convert first the rectangular form into its equivalent exponential form. So you will write that as Paul, 4 minus J3. Mm -hmm. So we have the value of R to be 5, and we also have the angle to be 0.64 negative. Okay, I'm sorry you can see the screen well. But uh, we will go on. So this time we write the logarithm to the base of 10. Uh, this time in rectangle uh, in polar in exponential form 5 e raised to j negative 0.64. So we will be using the product rule of your logarithm that becomes okay. By the way, we will change the base instead of using the log to the base of 10, we will change that to ln because we are dealing with exponential function. So the best way to deal with exponential function is to use logarithm or use natural logarithm. So that will be ln of 5 minus 0.64 that is in your numerator. Take note, ln of e is equal to 1. Okay, now simplifying this further will result to take out your calculator. That's 0.7 minus J 0.28. All right. Now, get some pieces of paper and your calculator and try to solve this problem. We will be solving two problems. Okay, I will try to look for the problem. Okay, I have here two problems of the logarithm of complex number. This is your first problem. The, logarith the natural logarithm of 6 minus J2 and for the next problem, we have the natural logarithm. Oh, by the way, this is log to the base of 2. Okay. Of 7 plus J12. So I will give you 20 minutes to solve the problem. Don't forget to pause this video first. Okay, start answering the problems. All right, are you done? So here are the answers. So for problem number one, we have 1.84 minus J.32. Number two, we have 2.63 plus J. 1.04. I hope you got it right. 